Good morning, everyone. Welcome to Ecclesia Church as God Intended. On this Sunday, August 23rd, we just welcome everyone that's here with us and everyone that'll listen to the recordings. We just bless you. We thank the Lord for you. I just honor each and every one of you. I thank you for your journey. I thank you for all that you've sacrificed in your life and what's brought you to this point. Joining with us today, Lord, we just combine our scrolls for our time together. And we say yes to whatever we agree to in the was was with you. We just call that forth for this day, this time that we have together. We just step in through the blood of Christ, through the cross, the burning cross. We just welcome our men in white linen, our angels, men perfect is the new term, isn't it? The colors, the sounds, the frequencies of heaven. We welcome Mama Wisdom. Thank you, Father God, Yeshua, and Holy Spirit. I feel to step into oneness, the yod He, Fav He, into the center, to the Shin with Jesus. Lord, we just frame that we'll hit your perfect bullseye of your will this morning. We ask for our highest mandates and blueprints today. Lord, I just want to love and honor and patience for, for having this platform for us to gather, for being so faithful to you. And please add or share whatever you guys feel to you. So as I was engaging just a, a few minutes before I, um, for, before I got on the call. Um, I felt to bring all my thrones together, all the thrones that we've encountered together, and just stack them and to sit there. I just invite you all to do that and to receive all your robes of authority that the Father has given you, any weaponry or anything that he's given you to rule and reign from. And as I sat there on my thrones, um, I felt the wind starting to come around me as they were talking about the storms that are gathering. And I felt like I was pulled into the Fibonacci swirls and I just started spinning and I knew it was with the winds of change in just this most beautiful dance. So I just invite you guys into that. I resonate and with that, Carol. As I was oh, wonderful. And when you said that, I sat on it. I stuck on my thrones. I even realized that there were thrones I don't remember, but they all came. Because it's like, when you said that, it was like releasing a frequency to draw all the thrones we have ever been given to come to us with the wind you know and when they came together i sat on on mine it's a big stack and then i saw that crowns were also coming to me crowns have been given yes all these years they were all coming different colors and shapes and sizes and i'm like wow yeah <laughs> and counting your blessings really that's what i i felt acknowledging all that he's done for you how far he's brought you and I'm just saying I'm grateful for all this, Lord. It feels good. It feels very good. Thank you for reminding us, Patience. I, I agree, um, it, uh, too. And, you know, I'm still uh, impacted from our encounter last week. Now, I've been engaging the blood of Jesus flowing through the... Um, the Fibonacci world, the life cycle all week. And um, and I even see this, you know, how you were saying to stack our, 
our drones and receive all the regalia that we've received. Um, even in the swirl, I see it's because of the blood that we're even to, able to receive these. And uh, I just want to say, I just felt to say um, that I agree with the blood for all of us here. I, re I agree with the blood for the restoration of who we are in him. And I believe that this, this restoring, this redeeming of who we are with this regalia is even because of the blood. That, I just wanted to share that. That's what I was saying. Awesome. So beautiful. And I just want to say, I even agree with the blood and with the Godhead for all that they want us to do today. Mm. Does everybody agree with that? Yes. Yes. So collectively, Father, we agree with the blood for all that you have for us today and all that you would have us to do. So I feel to share farther in, in my encounter, and it's it's ongoing. Um, so as I sat there, I you know I received my crowns and everything, and then I felt that I was starting to dance and twirl, and um, just like a ballerina, just twirling and dancing and jumping. And as I looked closer, I was transformed into a lioness with a crown on. <laughs> Um, just wanted to share that. I feel like I'm still dancing like that. We would love to hear what others are experiencing.
So mine feels unusual, but I don't think anything's unusual with us. Um, as I'm dancing, I grabbed onto the red string of the blood and a white string of righteousness, and I began to twirl really fast. And now I'm basically in a cocoon of red and white. And I'm seeing that, um, I'm, I'm also seeing that our dance is not here. We are dancing above the sun and the stars. It's, it's like we are literally dancing in our, in our place of position and identity. And what's coming mm -hmm. to me, what's coming to me is that we are not dancing to any early music or rhythm. We are hearing the heavenly rhythm. So there's no music. You will say there's no music here to our dancing. What are you dancing to? We are dancing to the heavenly rhythm. And we are dancing above the stars. I am seeing it like uh, it's, it's bringing us to a place. You know, we are in, in August, the eighth month of the year, right? We all know eight is new beginning. We are about to go to September, the ninth, the birthday of something new. So it's bringing us to a place where we are ready positioned to receive the new and to release the new. That's what I'm picking up. I so resonate with that. Thank you. I'm seeing a, a wheel rotate. Like, um, kind of the closest thing I can describe it looks to, like it's a, a, a water mill wheel or um, like a, what do you call that ride that you ride on in a circle? Um, oh my. Uh, Ferris wheel. Um, I'm just seeing this wheel rotate. That resonates with me too, but I know what I couldn't help thinking about was the storms. You see, they rotate counterclockwise. Mm -hmm. And uh, these two storms, when you were talking about dancing, there is people have, uh, I've heard that it, the winds are almost going to be like they're dancing together if, if they catch up with each other because they both rotate. So that's what I was, I was picturing winds in the heavens rotating and dancing, actually. Well, that's interesting because I did see when Carol was talking about dancing, I saw this woman with two um, pieces of, I don't know if they were ribbon or paper or something in, in her hands. And she was even moving her hands in a circle motion, make a circle with both of her ar arms. Um, so yeah, something about this circular rotation motion. So I have another kind of odd image. <laughs> when um, uh, some of, I'm sorry, patients talked about the birthing and stuff, I felt like my ab abdomen was full with promise of new life, but then I was also seeing a seahorse, and it's the males that give birth, and it was a seahorse giving birth, like little seahorses being shot forward, but the woman pregnant and, and the man giving birth also the seahorse. Sharing. But again, it's the two.
do, do you all sense we should engage this dance together and see where it will take us? Yes. 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 Kara, will you lead us into this dance? <laughs> yes. I see us all coming together, gathering around in a circle. And I see each of us starting to twirl. Let's see, clockwise. We're each twirling and we're each stepping clockwise in a circle. And just join invite you to join the dance and i invite you to release whatever father lays on your heart or shows you as as we go as we dance I'm starting to see the color blue, really bright, vibrant blue. And I'm starting to see us each add our own steps in with the dance. We're in rhythm, but we each have an expression of our own too. I just thank you, Father, that we're hitting the perfect bullseye of your will, Lord. And I thank you for flow and understanding. I just feel the Father calling us deeper into his heart, deeper into his presence. I'm seeing a musical notes, musical notes around us. But when I look closely, they are Hebrew living ladies. Mm. And I, I, I sense that is what we are dancing to. And then I saw uh, Elijah and Elisha coming. And then I saw Moses and Joshua coming. It's like they came in pairs. And I I'm just looking at the connection with the two. You know, Moses was followed up by Joshua and Elijah by Elisha. So I'm trying to figure out what's going on here with them coming like that. I feel there was a promise. They both have a, pro a continuation of the promise. And Laura is, is the second storm coming and it's, it means victorious. Mm. Mm. What I was seeing was that we all were together dancing, and I saw you with the uh, staff. And you, uh, while we were all dancing in a circle, you uh, just sit on the on the rock, and the water, you know, came out from it. So I see there a Moses connection with it that we should not <laughs> uh, hit the rock second time because then we have to speak to it. Thank you, Mohit. I, I couldn't hear all that you said. Could, could anyone else? Yeah, the first part. I didn't get the first part, too. I didn't either. So, say it again, Mohit, and say it a little. Come closer to your mic. Okay, sorry. So uh, we, I saw all of us uh, dancing together, 
and um, i saw patients with the rod and she as we were dancing in a circle she uh, she had a uh, staff with her and she hit the rock and the water came out of that rock so that is the moses connection i see thank you the words winds of change came to me and i saw us dancing clockwise which is opposite direction of the storms cuz they go counterclockwise and i i saw us raising up our own water and changing our own direction of the storm cuz if we go counter if we go clockwise then it may push it out towards the west where they need the water and dissipate I'm connecting what you are saying, Laura, with what Mohit said, that we can use the road to turn the water around, the storm to where it, it, it needs to go, and that it will not be destructive, but productive. Yes, I agree. Yes, I agree too. So do you have, have the staff patience? Do you want to lead us? <laughs> I, I I hope so. <laughs> <laughs> Maybe I have to grab it because when he said he saw me with it, I have to acknowledge I have it. Yeah, so if we're all in agreement. Yes, I am. Yeah. Cameron and I are too. Yeah. Okay, and and I'm going to popcorn it. I'm going to start. Mohit, you, you have to add something because you saw it. Laura, you have to also bring in your bits. Okay, let's all popcorn it and see where we go with that. I, I'm sensing there's more, but this is the beginning of the encounter, the activation, okay? So um, we are dancing. We are dancing above the stars in our position and identity, knowing we, who we are. And we are, we are on, the, on the floor. This floor we are on, the floor is covered with the blood. Hallelujah. And we are dancing among the Hebrew living ladies. And we have this ribbon of yellow and red going on around us. This is an amazing place to dance. And this dance is a governmental act. So we engage you, Moses, and we receive the road. And it's not just me receiving the road. As I receive it, we are all receiving the road. We are doing this together. We are one united body receiving the word from Moses. Thank you, Father Moses, for this word. We honor you immensely for joining us. And, and, and Joshua and uh, Elisha and Elijah, we receive all you all have for us. And we take hold of this road. And we are dancing with this road. Hallelujah. Dancing clockwise. We are turning this, this storm that is coming in the right direction, the divine direction, where Father wants it to go. And we are framing and proclaiming as we use this road, this poem is not destructive, but productive. You will honor your name victorious. Hallelujah. Anybody else wants to add up Victorious in all areas and all ways. Just felt to say that. I'm given that um the rod is helping us to and helping things and everything to go forward to infinity 
and not back to the old. And that the tornadoes, they turn the counterclockwise way, but we're turning these the clockwise way to um, the direction God wants us to go. Yes. The right direction. Also, I see that, uh, I'm sorry. I saw that as Moses um, was able to part the sea, that as you, as you strike, I'm sorry, as you strike it, these, these storms are going to separate just like the Red Sea and go different directions to where they're needed. Mm. Where the, and that the, the winds will not uh, reach hurricane proportions. They will uh, not be destructive. Just bring, bring the rain. Bring the rain, Lord. But I see it splitting as you strike. Mm. Just that. Mm. Yeah, they won't be a hindrance to um, uh, advancement. That's what I was getting to. You know, he split the Red Sea so that they could advance. Yes. And, and what is coming to me is this is showing to us the power we have over nature. Because we are above the sun. If you are under the sun, the sun controls you. If you are above the sun, you tell the sun, and not just the sun, all nature, all creation, what to do. And what's coming to me is, uh, um, was, it, uh, was it Joshua who told the, the sun to hold its peace until he has finished his war, the battle he was fighting? Yes. And he stood. This is what is coming to me. This is where we are. This is who we are. We are being reminded as we go into this new beginning, this newness, this great thing coming, we are taking our place and the sun is under us. The mm -hmm. sun will hear us. The moon will hear us. Amen. And, and even with Elijah and Elisha, Elijah and Elisha, Elijah also went against gravity. Remember when he was taken up? Who goes up and, and not drop down because of gravity? This earth we are in. But he went against gravity. It's all signs that we are above it all. That's why he's also here. And he gave double portion to Elisha. I feel like receiving that double portion that we will go against gravity and all that and ride above the sun and the clouds. Amen. I agree. Amen. I believe when men in, men in white living come, they come with something. When we welcome them and honor them, they come with something. They, and they impart to us when we, we, we receive, we open up to receive. Because most of them, there was much more they could have done on earth, but didn't finish. And so they are looking for bodies. We still have our bodies. That means we can operate on earth and we can also operate in the spirit realm because we, have our, we are spirit beings. So they are looking for uh, spirit beings with bodies walking with God to impart to them their mantle for them to continue and finish what, what their mandate was.
What are you all picking up? What are you sensing? I I missed a, a lot of what was said. <laughs> I had many t- tornadoes coming into my room. Um, <laughs> three of them. They're happy. Um, but but my sense in this is with turning the storm and the changes and the parting of the storms and parting of the water and the impartation from the men and white linen that came. I feel like this is affecting not only our own personal lives, but um, the nation and the economy, which reaches out to the world, that what looks like a terrible storm coming ahead is going to part way and make direction and put us on the right path where Father wants us. It's kind of a change course that it's coming about for for us in our own lives, too. Yes. I also sense that um, the storms and the fires and everything will um, change some of the unrest that's happening (laughs) because amazingly Louisiana had their first uh, protest and riot in last night in the center pretty much um, well you know the middle of the state so I feel that these storms and all these things that are going on are going to uh, turn people back to what's important, you know, um, life, you know, not necessarily, you know, take their minds off of the political and off of all this other stuff and put it where it needs to be, you know, with um, life, that's what's important. Uh, protecting people and um, stuff like that. So anyway, that's just what I was thinking. Thank you for sharing. EB, you're coming to me. Do you have anything you want to share? This just was coming to my attention. I didn't know if you had something to share or not. I wish she's busy. Survival mode came to me. Mm. Hierarchy of needs. What do you think that means, Laura?
winds of change changing focus okay That's kind of what we got last night about me closing my shop too, but for a short time. Do you all get anything towards that or about that? What were the terms again that you got, Laura? Uh, survival mode and what hi hierarchy of needs. Then you said that you got something similar concerning your shop. Is that right, Carol? Yes. Yeah. To be ready and prepared for the next um, three or four months. I, I just hesitate to share that kind of stuff because I don't want to cause panic or worry or fear or anything like that. But we want to be wise and our hearts to our ears to ha father's heart, you know, mm -hmm. to. Um, uh, hi, everybody. Um, Carol, you, you mentioned earlier, and this just keeps coming to me. Um, you mentioned earlier that you were seeing blue, and I can tell you all day today, I've been seeing nothing but blue, everything in blue technicolor. And, yeah. um, and I just wondered, what does that, I'm not trying to shift the, the, the understanding here, but what, what, remind me, I should know this, but remind me, what does, which spirit of, of, of the seven spirits of God does blue represent? Might. Might? Yes. That is exactly what God has been showing me for the past few days, that there is a spirit of might in the air. And this blue really stuck out to me when you said it. Um, it just, everything just went off, bells and whistles went off in me when you mentioned it, Carol. Um, I'm not sure exactly what that means to our discussion today, but just wanted to bring that to everyone's attention as well. I wanted to, to arc with you on that. And um, as far as the storms and hurricanes, I know that we experience much of that uh, here in the area where I live. I'm not on the continent of the US, but I just wanted to say that one thing the Lord kept saying to me every time one of these uh, whirlwinds were approaching, he said, do the same that I did. Speak to the storm and tell it what to do. Tell it where to go and tell it what to do. Whatever you want it to do and it has to obey. So I just wanted to share that. Well, that's interesting because just before you started speaking, Cindy, I felt to, you know, we knew the name of Laura um, but I felt to look up Marco, and the mm. name of the of Marco means warring or warlike. Wow! Huh. Wow! Huh. Yeah. So something is is happening here, and I also heard uh, the winds of change, and there could be a change in course of direction for some of us. Um, and I know it's happening to me because suddenly the Lord has begun to bring forth dreams and ideas that I had kind of forgotten about from 20 years ago. So there could be some sort of course change and course of direction of like certain things are going to happen now that we might have forgotten about and God is reviving them or resurrecting things that had been forgotten about in the past. That's so hmm. big hmm. resonated Cindy. Big yeah. <laughs> the same thing with me. Yes. Yes. He, he, yes. He, he's been bringing 
bring, bring him back to me some things. Mm. Very, yes. very. Yeah. And, and the interesting thing is that he's not bringing it to me. He's bringing it to me and bringing it to my husband. And he's telling me. I wasn't telling him because I'm awesome. like, okay, okay, Lord. Then he's wow. telling me. <laughs> wow. It's, it's big. And whatever the, that course of direction is leading to, believe mm -hmm. you me, in this hour, it is big. Uh, that is why we're doing all this dancing. Yes. It's turning clockwise and all that that we are seeing. I'm telling you, there is a big change. Coming. Big change on the, on coming. The horizon, on the to horizon. all of us. To all yes. of us. Yes. yes. Individually and, and as a group. Individually and as a group that we see uh, the body of yes. Christ. Yeah. 2020. 2020 is yeah. bigger than we thought. Definitely. Raise yourself. Definitely. Raise Definitely. Yourself. Yeah. And, and you know, as the Jewish New Year, as we approach the, the, the head of the year in September, I can't remember what day it is. 918. Um, mm. Yeah. Yeah. And so, exactly. And I, I, I see a big, wide ocean. I'm just seeing a big, wide, blue ocean. And I keep seeing that picture of multiple colors of blue, like different shades of blue. And it's just so vast and so wide. It's like, I, I don't even know what to make of it at this time, but it's, 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 it's awesome. And Moses, even Moses name, Moshe, means drawn from many waters. So, you know, all of this is tying together and that's what I've been getting in my spirit. I just thought I should speak up and, sh and share it. I'm glad you did. I'm glad we, you did. I, oh yeah, I'm, that totally resonates. Yeah. You see, we will need this spirit of might like never before for this change. Oh yes. And, and I'm whilst we're talking, it, it fell on me like a robe. Wow. Yes. And my whole body was like frozen for a minute. Mm. Mm. This blue robe, hallelujah. Yes. I and I was seeing the blue throne too. Come on. It, what do you all want it, to do with this? Get <laughs> on the, the throne of mic. <laughs> I guess step into it. <laughs> yes, yes. And wear the robe. Wear the robe, sit on the throne. Yes. Are you all in agreement? Yes. Yes. <laughs> Ooh, this is yes. Uh, right on. Get, get ready, get ready, get ready. I can hear that. Ooh. Oh, wow. wow. Cindy, wow. you want to lead us into it? Uh, yeah. Um, thank you. Thank you, Holy Spirit. Thank you, Holy Spirit. I just thank you for your presence here. And we just ask you to cause all of us to flow, flow like, like uh, many waters and uh, become that blue spirit of might. That mm. a mighty uh, mantle of the spirit of might would fall upon each of us and and you stir us and and begin to move us counterclockwise above the sun that all those dead dreams and things that we thought would never happen that we had even forgotten about that you would bring it to our remembrance and um that you would just resurrect in us whatever you need for this hour from us and so we just step into um, and are covered right now by the spirit of might. Oh. And we just thank you for bringing the change, the winds of change and redirecting our course um, uh, to be where you would have us to be and to be who you would have us to be and with you would have us to be with. And we just thank you, Lord. And we just also arc over the um, hurricanes that are forming that Father, we speak to those winds and those waves and we tell you right now to move away from the direction of the United States and to go out to sea and to dissipate. And that whatever is needed for, this, for the states in the United States, the Southern United States, whatever mercy is needed, Father, whatever water, whatever their needs are, whatever change needs to come in that region of the earth, Father, that you would bring those winds of change that you would become their whirlwind in this hour father we just thank you for all that you are doing for each one on this call today in yeshua yes. mighty name 
Amen. Hallelujah. Amen. Thank you, Lord. Thank you. Um, I just want to say um, I'm also sensing that some of that course of direction that's being changed um, involves relationships and those whom we are with. Or Cindy! To, or soon to be with. Cindy, Woo! you took the West from my mouth. Oh, mine oh, too. I kept, mine hearing, too. I kept hearing look out for new relationships. Yes. I'm even, and I, I'm thinking it's for me. Oh, I, I had twice new relationships. Oh, wow. I was, I've been placing my relationships on the altar. Yes. And I just went into doing that again. And the winds of change started blowing on it. And a blue tornado fire came up around all the relationships. Carol, there's that blue again. I'm still seeing it. I'm seeing like the whole world in blue. I'm seeing nothing but blue in front of me. Yeah, it's it's like that neon blue too, like that hot, hot flame. Yes. Wow. It's intense. Yeah, yeah. Wow, I, wow. I'm telling you, I got I, that same thing too. Um, um, new relationships, even a new like um, group of people. Yeah, yeah. Exactly. That's exactly. What's happening to me? Oh my goodness! <laughs> wow! wow. What I'm amazing. seeing. <laughs> what like, I'm seeing is that. It. Go ahead. Go ahead. No, no, I'm finished. I'm finished. I'm finished. Go, go ahead, patience. I didn't hear what you said. Yes, can you repeat? No, it? I, I just said confirmation like gangbusters. <laughs> <laughs> I hear you. I hear you. You know what I'm seeing? I'm seeing like it's like, um, okay, your present relationship, some of them got to go. Yeah. Because they are hindering you from where you're going. And the new relationship he's bringing is to keep you going forward. Yes, and, and I'm seeing that is why we saw Moses and Joshua. Moses is the old, and Joshua was the new. Elijah is the old. Elisha is the new. It's relationships. Um, by ending and beginning. Yes, yes. Lord, bring the new relationships. <laughs> we embrace it. Let's embrace the new yes. ones. We Very embrace simple. you, new relationships. Yes. Yes. We embrace new friends. New Great. people, hallelujah! Yes, Lord have mercy. Wow, um, wow, I'm gonna just put this out there, and it may come as a shock to some people, but it even involves husbands coming. I don't know uh, who is single or, or who's married on, on this chat, but I see husbands and you know, just the will of the Father be done in that area. Um, but new relationships also mean marriages as well, too. 